I'm back. Well, technically, I've never left because I've been uploading videos where, whenever I can. But anyway, I finally got my Wi-Fi back. After probably six months. Let's just say I was going, I was on a hiatus. And I was like hibernating, I guess. We'll say that. <laughs> I guess this is the polite way of putting it. But yeah, I'm finally back. Yay, throw party! Uh, but seriously, I'm just, I'm just fucking around. Uh, but seriously, I'm going to do my review um, for Black Panther. Because I saw it last night. So, give me a second. Oh, oh, my comb. Uh, okay, okay, so, Black Panther, 2018 American superhero film based on the Marvel Comics character of the same name. Uh, Marvel Studios, produced by Marvel Studios and distributed by Walt Disney Pictures. It is the 18th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, directed by Ryan Kogler, I think, I think I can pronounce it. If I mispronounce it, my bad. Who co wrote the screenplay with Joe Robert Cole, stars Chadwick Boseman as T'Challa, uh, Black Panther, alongside Michael B. Jordan, Lupita Nyongo, Dine Guara, Martin Freeman, Daniel Kilua, I think, um, Latita Wright. Winston Duke, Angela Bassett, Forrest Whitaker, and Andy Serkis. In Black Panther, T'Challa returns as home as King of Wakanda, but finds his sovereignty challenged as by a new adversary in a conflict with global consequences. So, this was released February 16, and I, I know I finally just saw it, excuse me, uh, with a runtime of 2 hours and 30, 2 hours and 14 minutes, um, the budget was $200 million and so far has made back $921.4 million. Let's see, so. What did I think of this movie? I'll admit, I, I surprisingly enjoyed it. Well, not surprisingly, it leaks Marvel Studios. I enjoy most of the movies. Um, but. But what I mean by surprisingly is that, based on Civil War, okay, I liked the character of Black Panther, but not to the point of, you know, I have to see the movie, but, you know, I see all the Marvel movies. And it's nothing to do with race or anything, no, no, no. It's not because I'm a racist dick or anything, no, no, no. I just didn't find the character interesting, as, as I'm saying. But yeah, I, but yeah, I enjoyed this movie, I thought it was a lot of fun. Um... People are saying Killmonger is probably the best villain in the MCU. I just didn't see it. Like, he's... He, yeah, his father was killed. He thought he deserved a claim to the throne. Okay, it's not... I've been seen this particular villain before. You know, I've seen this villain done in the MCU multiple times. Uh, but anyway. Anyway. Um... I will say this for Michael B. Jordan. He's a lot better here than he was in Fan Stick. God, that movie sucked. Oh, that movie fucking sucked. But yeah, Jordan's better in this movie. Thank God. Um, uh, yeah, and um, this may sound weird. But as a fan of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, I'll admit, the two scenes that Martin Freeman and Andy Serkis have together was... Awesome. Getting to see Bilbo and Smaug, or Bilbo and Gollum, Smaug is Dr. Strange, uh -huh. but yes, getting to see Freeman and Circus on screen together after like six years was awesome. Okay. Call me weird over saying that, but fuck it, I'm going to say it. It was awesome to see Circus and Freeman together on the screen again. That was awesome. And this is one of the few movies where Circus is not doing a mocap character. And spoilers, he dies halfway through the movie. And it's like, oh, okay, I'll say this. He was used more effectively in this than he was in Star Wars. God, I hate The Last Jedi. 
I'm going to do a review with my friend Evan. We're going to review all the Star Wars movies. So, that's going to come. That's coming. When he has a day off, that is. But anyway. Yes. Circus was used more effectively in this movie. The problem, though, is... Someone in the comments correct me. Because I'm not really up on the comic book stuff. But isn't Black or isn't Ulysses Claw basically the Joker to Black Panther's Batman? Like he's the most popular villain or something? Like I said, correct me if I'm wrong. But if I'm right, for the sake of argument, I'm right. You build him up three years only to kill him. Wow, this is so familiar to Star Wars. But anyway, anyway, I'm sorry, I don't mean to compare this. Because this is a way better movie, I'm just saying. I'm just saying it's pretty sad. Their circus is playing two kids with a lot of build-up, and they both get killed off, and there's like a movie appearance. That's sad. But anyway, I'll go into Star Wars later. Uh, but yeah, I enjoyed this movie, I thought it was fun. Um, I did like Chadwick Boseman in this movie, I thought he did a great job. Same as what he did with Civil War. Um, and also, and I like the other actors, don't get me wrong, I think a lot, all the actors are really good. And same with, also, Forrest Whitaker's used much more effectively than he was in Rogue One. Wow, Marvel, you're doing better than, than Disney, or, wow, Marvel, you're doing better than Lucasfilm. Using two actors much more effectively. Who knew? They're, and they're both run by, owned by Disney. Now we know who the problem with Lucas with the Star Wars movies is. It's not Disney. <laughs> but again, I'll go to Star Wars one other time. But yeah, Whitaker and Circus are used far more effectively than they were in the Disney Star Wars movies. Yay, that's a plus. Um, but I liked all the actors for the Wakandans. I thought they did a great job. Uh, like I said. I thought Michael B. Jordan was better in this than he was in Fanfortic. God, that movie fucking sucks. <laughs> um, I did like some of the action scenes, especially the car chase. Um, I think it's South Korea they were in. I didn't really notice. But yeah, I thought the car chase was really cool. Um, like most of the action scenes I thought were really well done. Um, yeah, I just really enjoyed this movie. It's not one of my favorite MC movies, but it's. And it's not even high on the list, though, but it's very enjoyable. You know? It's a very enjoyable MCU movie, I'll say that much. Um, and I'm really looking forward to Infinity War. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You can have the Avengers, the Guardians, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man. Pretty much all these people facing fucking Thanos. Holy shit! <coughs> oh, that would be awesome. Now, you got Deadpool 2 coming out this year. Sweet. Um, and I know it's like three, four months late probably, but I think I might do my top ten best and worst of 2017 since I missed the hangout with my friends. So I'll probably do that as well. Because um, I got I to catch up on reviews. Such as Thor Ragnarok, Jigsaw. Spoiler free, that movie sucked. Jigsaw sucked. But yeah, I got stuff to catch up on, but I'm here now. Hopefully I'm going to be able to catch up on shit. Uh, so yeah, and I also got to, like I said, I got to review Ragnarok. Yay, I got to watch that again first. Um, but yeah, I'm back. You know, you know, I'm, I'm, as, in the good words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'm back. <laughs> Yeah, I know, my, and my friend Anthony will say I did the accent badly, but I wasn't trying for the accent. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, see you guys later.